finished the way he started by striking out the side. How about a good heater up? No, maybe cut her in. Should do it. Well, Jake will touch the ball as he touches the bag to finish it. So he could take that baseball and put it on his mantle. His first career major league shutout, a one hitter, oh so close. An 0-2 pitch that he left up. Brandon Phillips doubled, but the Cubs win seven to nothing, and they have not allowed a run in this series. What a dominant performance from Jake Arrieta here tonight. He doesn't get his no-hitter, but my goodness, and he gets that final out of first base. It comes jogging back across to the infield. You would think there'd be you know, maybe some fatigue or you know some exhaustion, but he looks like he's ready to go some more. So the line on Arietta, nine innings, one hit, no runs, one walk, a career high, 13 strikeouts. And a completely dominating performance and very close to making history tonight. Two base runners all night. Uh, Hamilton leadoff walk in the fourth. He was caught stealing. And the Phillips double. If he gets through that eighth, he's going to get that no hitter in my book. The final score tonight. This was a fun one. The Cubs seven. The Reds nothing. And we'll be back to Wrigley Field in a moment. What a fun one. Our next WGN telecast of Cubs baseball will be from the Budweiser patio and the Cubs host the Dodgers in game two of a four game series. Clayton Kershaw against Edwin Jackson on the mound will hit the air at one o'clock with the leadoff man. Final score tonight in a beauty by the Cubs seven nothing over the Reds Cubs baseball in high definition on WGN brought to you by Xfinity your home for the most live sports now for JD and our entire WGN crew here at Wrigley Field I'm Len Casper thank you for watching Cubs baseball.